Hi guys and welcome to this Excel Quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to find lost or forgotten commands in VBA. So let's face it, you can't remember everything and here's a little tip to help out with that. So let's say I've got some text and I'd like to make it bold. And I've got a number and I'd like to format it like this. And I don't remember how to do it. Maybe I don't have an internet connection, no Wi-Fi right now. What do I do? So I run into this problem a lot with formatting because I don't do it that much in VBA so I forget it. So one little way to find out how to format it as you want or how to do anything you want, it's not just formatting, that's the example I'm using here, is go to the macro recorder. Finally, it can be useful. So let's go start recording our macro. Make sure it's stored in this workbook, okay. And now I'm just gonna do whatever I need to do. So I wanna put bold here and I wanna go down here and let us format it like that. Do whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter. Then stop the macro, go to the VBA window, Alt F11, of course, and open up the new module. If you recorded it in a personal macro workbook, open up that workbook, it'll be in there. So here's our module, and there we go, selection.font.bold equals true. And then for this one, selection.style equals currency. Now, of course, the macro recorder adds a bunch of stuff you don't need. But if you're watching this tutorial, you probably already know that. So I don't need range three dot select selection. It's just a range reference. I'm probably never ever going to use it in my macro, but I got what I want. Dot font dot bold equals true dot style equals currency. Now, sometimes it'll even tell you how to do something and it will give you the worst possible way to do it. Not just selecting cells, but the way that you apply certain formatting. However, if you don't have access to the internet, if you need something done very quickly, then it doesn't matter so much. What matters is getting the work done. And that's how you can do it. It doesn't just have to be for formatting. The trick is just turn the macro recorder on, do what you need to do, sift through the code until you find the little pieces that you need. So now if I wanted to tie that up, let's say I go stuff, and then one, two, three, dot, three, five, actually it was something else, three, five, three, four, five, dot, three, four, five, and so that's range, D2 and D3. Awesome. So let's go down here. Range D2 dot font dot bold equals true. Range D3 dot style equals currency. By the way, if you want to do more advanced number formatting, this is a lifesaver because who can remember everything that you need to remember? Perfect. And that's all for this Excel quickie.